Well, good morning. Um, I'm back again with the uh, ECM single kilometer. Um, I did a, a video a while back on the reasons why we went down this particular route uh, with the ECM single kilometer. I haven't actually done a, a video of pulling a shot yet. And partly because I remember it was a bit embarrassing because I was such a, such a starter and an amateur. But um, I think you're more comfortable with the machine now and um, getting some very good and consistent results out of it. And uh, so I thought today I'd just uh, give you a quick uh, video uh, on, on the point of the shot. Um, I'm using the ECM 64 uh, semi automatic grinder, which I'm, I'm also uh, very comfortable with. Uh, it gives me good fine adjustment, easy to use, uh, and again, it seems to be pretty consistent uh, on the grind, so uh, I'm pretty delighted with that. Now, for today's shot, um, I'm just using a Lavazza for no particular reason. I mean, I like Lavazza, it's, it's, um, it's a pretty standard, regular cup of coffee. It's a good crema and it's pretty reliable, and, um, and, and it's a good tasting coffee. So uh, it's always a, a staple favourite of ours. Um, that we are branching out and trying other other beans as well, which is uh, which is a lot of fun, and that's part of it. And it's really fun. Okay, so, so ready to pull the shot now. Um, boilers, both uh, the steam boiler and the brew boiler. Look, similar show. Got 131 there on the steam boiler. I'm checking that on the PID and 94, 93, 94, which is where uh, I set my brew temperature. As I said before, we like uh, a nice amount of hot coffee. Okay, so next thing is uh, pour the filter out of the uh, E61 group head, nicely warmed up now, give that a bit of a dry, and uh, just because I'm just carefully monitoring the uh, the amount of shots we're pulling, I'm just going to zero the uh, the scales now, so that uh, we can tell exactly what the uh, the amount of the, the grind is. Okay, so with the uh, E64 grinder, just give it a couple of taps. And that will give you uh, the double shot that we're after, which is, uh, so it should be about 18 grams. Okay, she's finished. Let's uh, see how that weighs in now. So bringing it back down to the scales. Let's just put her on there and see what she's weighed in at. 17, so just a fraction under 18 grams, but um, that's fine for uh, the purposes of today. So it's cool. So next we uh, take the porta filter over to the tamping station and just give it a light dusting to level it out, it's what they call the barista blessing, just to get it down there, no pressure on there at all at the moment. I like to give it a little bit of a tap, to make sure it settles properly, and that stops any uh, channeling. And I use a, a leveler in the first instance, keep my fingers around the edge and just keep the, uh, the gap between the leveler and the porta filter the same, and you know you're going to get essentially a level top to that, get rid of any loose parts, and then on the tamping, it's not so much about pressure, but consistency. And get a bit of a shine there. So there we go, that's the uh, tamping complete. So tamping complete, we can now put it back onto the E61 group head. Now with the PID, in theory, you don't need to give it a flush, but out of habit, I always give it a flush. And again, using the turn, just put it in there and securely set her up. So ready to now to go with the actual shot itself. Take car two. Nicely warm glasses, so I'm just going to weigh these because I'm interested to know what the uh, the shot is going to be. Should be twice of what a gram, so we're looking for about 34 grams. So I'll now zero the scale, put those in there, and we can start with the shot itself. And I'm looking to see the, the brew come through in around about between four and five seconds thereabouts. So that's about four or five seconds, looking quite good. And while we're doing that, we can now crack on with the uh, the milk frothing. We're starting off quite shallow on the milk, keep my hand at the bottom to feel the temperature. Meanwhile, I'm still monitoring the shot pool. Nice crema coming on top of the, uh, of the shot, so that's looking nice. And just starting to feel the bottom of the heater, just keeping some air coming into your milk at this point. Uh, approaching about 35, so normally between 30, 35 seconds, I think it's probably about right. So approaching 35, let's go with that. So kind of like a good shot at that point. And certainly on the bottom of here, the heat's coming through on the milk now. As soon as it gets to the point where I can't hold it, I'll move my hand up. Which is about now, and I'm going to put that wand a little bit deeper. Uh, I like a hot, uh, a hot latte, probably a little bit hotter than I, uh, most professional bristles would do. And the danger is, of course, you can actually overheat the milk and even boil it, so you've got to be careful about that. So I reckon that's probably going to do me about nice. We'll leave that on that. Give the old girl a bit of a, a shot, and if you love that, that's always the best part when you clear the old nozzle for the future. Of the cops. Right, so let's just see what the temp the, uh, the weight is on these shots, and it's sitting there around about 38. So a little bit, a little bit uh, larger than uh, I'd hoped for, but a, a good looking a good looking crema on that. 
and that's, uh, that's looking great. So let's add the milk and see how we go with that. All right, give the give it a bit of a knock, knock out some of the air, and uh, I'll just use a teaspoon just to hold the uh, the froth back in the first pour. As you'll see, and there's nothing fancy about my uh, artwork on the coffee. I just want to get the milk in there and get to tasting the coffee. That's what's really important to me. So I'll just get that out, and then as we get to the end, I can then start letting some of the uh, the froth come in too. But as I said, there's no fancy artwork where the tune's concerned. I just want a decent looking cup of coffee, and that looks pretty good to me. So we'll uh, we'll give that a taste and see how we go. Okay, one final thing that's worth doing is uh, checking how the the actual coffee looks in the porta filter afterwards. Um, checking this out now, looking for any signs of channelizing, um, which would indicate possibly that it wasn't uh, uh, there was some gaps in the in the way we packed it. But that's looking great. Uh, a little bit of finger pressure all the way around there, and I can see that there's consistency in pressure, which is nice. So that, that's certainly I think uh, indicating we had a pretty good uh, a good a good shot on that. So job's done. Get rid of that. Well, thanks everybody. It's about the bad hair day. Eh? Can't help that when it's on a lockdown. But um, enjoy making this coffee. I've already tasted it. It's it's for me perfect temperature. As I said, we like quite warm. Um, there's no bitterness or sourness for that matter, and you get a good taste of the coffee coming through um, at just the right kind of strength for my uh, for my particular palate. So, so I hope you enjoyed that um, simple demonstration of the uh, ECM Synchronta. Certainly enjoyed having you uh, on board, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you again soon. Cheers. Bloody good.